Alright, so the next thing we're going to do in this series is put in some structure for the Case 22 house. And so let's just take a quick look at um, the minimal amount that we have done right now, which is just basic floors, walls, and roof. So I'm going to go to my 3D view. And if I spin around, you can see we've got some, you know, basic interior walls, some of the solid exterior walls. We have the roof and we have the floor that is floating or being sort of cut by the uh, topography is running over it a little and we'll fix that. Um, but what we want to do now is add some of the structure in. So, so before we do that let's get rid of this topography that's sort of floating over the top of the first floor. Um, so if we go to level one the topography is not on in here, it's turned off, so we're going to turn it back on. If you come down to the bottom of your screen, you can select Reveal Hidden Elements from the View Control Bar. And then if you hover over the topography until it says Hidden Element Topography Surface and left click, you will get an Unhide Element here, or you can right click and go to Unhide and View Elements. And then come back down to the view control bar and close reveal hidden elements. You can also toggle the reveal hidden elements up here at the top as well. So now we have that topography in there. If you go to a visual style of shaded, you're going to see it sort of eating into that uh, floor plan. So it's fairly simple to fix it. If we left click on the topography surface and we go to edit surface, It's saying portions of the topography may not be visible, and that's fine. Um, we can see what we need to see, so I'm going to hit close here on this warning. And really all you need to do is select this group of points that are defining height and delete them, and you'll see the, the uh, topography lines pull back. You could come in and, and maybe delete delete that one and it would pull it back. There's not a lot we're going to be able to do about this particular curve right here because it's interpolating between some and it would take a little bit of work to get rid of it. Um, but you can kind of play around with it and see you know if you can get it to the point where you know it's not quite so crazy there. But once you get the topography lines out of the floor you can hit the check button. Okay. Alright so that's getting the topography out. Now the next thing I want to do is set up a couple of um, views that we can use to place our um, structure. So in the floor plans, hover over level one and right click and duplicate view and just select duplicate. I know you can't see it on mine, but um, and you'll get a copy of that. Right click on that and go to rename. And we want to rename it level one. You could name it framing or structure. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply what's called a view template to this. Um, <clears throat> so right click and go to apply template properties. And you'll see a structural framing plan right here. And if you just take a look at what I'm going to show you, if you go to the VG overrides model for this particular view template, it's going to have turned off a significant amount of, of items, but particularly the structure will be on, the floors and such will be on, but it will turn off things that it thinks is inappropriate for um, showing structural information. So basically what we're doing is applying those settings to this view. And if you click OK, Right now you see that all you can see in this view are the floors because we don't have any other structure. Um, the other thing I'd like to do is set up the same thing for a 3D view. <clears throat> so if you come over to your 3D view in your project browser and right click, duplicate that view, hover over the copy of the 3D view and rename it. And we'll just name it 3D structure. Okay. 
Now for this one, <clears throat> if you right click on it and go to apply template properties, it's not really going to have um, an option to a uh, clear option for structural fr framing there already set up. So go ahead and, and hit cancel there. And <clears throat> just make sure you have nothing else selected and type VV <clears throat> and that's going to bring up your visibility graphics dialog override. Um, and what you want to do is you see this visibility area just highlight that and scroll down to where structural starts hold down the shift key and shift select all those um, and just remove the check and then below structural you can get rid of the check on topography and walls and windows <clears throat> now one thing you probably want to go back up and turn on are the floors which would be helpful to be able to see in this view and click OK and so now um, we also don't want this import symbol in there the lines and we don't really need that anymore so I'm just going to delete it. Alright so now what we see in this 3D view is the floors and we'll see the structure once we get it going but um, alright so I'll be back in a minute and we'll put some structure in.